Hey guys, Anime Green, leader of the Green Clan today. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of the new updates um, concerning Storm Generation 3. Yes, uh, it has officially have um, a release date for March of 2013. So for all you guys who pre-order and stuff like that, look forward to it. Um, me personally, I might get it. I didn't get Generations or even pre-order Generations because I really didn't care for Generations as much as other fans of the series did. But Storm 3 looks like they're trying a little bit harder with uh, all the different stuff they're adding to the game, like um, the hack and slash gameplay. Um, you guys probably know about that stuff. And also, you know, we get a few new characters, but I don't think we need... I, I know people and fans want more characters, but we have like over 70 characters. I think we have enough fit, uh, characters, but uh, since this is going into the war, I'm pretty sure we're going to get even more characters. Hanzo and Darui were confirmed like months ago or weeks ago or whatever. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of other people. Now, one of the biggest, newest news that people are talking about is um, the new Goku costume DLC, or the downloadable costume for Goku's, like, orange, you know, his orange uh, suit, which is really cool to see Naruto in that uh, outfit. That That's kind of, that's really cool. It would have been better if they had, like, a uh, downloadable character for Goku himself and made him a special character. Like, in Storm 2, there was Lars from Tekken, so that would have been cool if they had Goku, but... Yeah, we know Goku's a little bit too overpowered for the characters in the series Naruto, but still, there's a lot of cool news about that coming out. There's also confirmed that Obito, or, oh, no, did I say Obito? I meant, uh, for anime-only watchers, I mean Toby. My bad, my bad. Uh, yeah, I know, everybody knows about it already, it's not really a big deal. But anyway, uh, yeah, Toby with his Renegon and Sharingan will be in the game with his new silver mask or whatever. I'm um, pretty sure the, the moveset is going to be the same. Of course, um, we're getting Zetsu finally in the game. Um, but I believe it's just the Zetsu like army or whatever. That's what the, the hack and slash gameplay that we've seen. Uh, if you've seen some stuff about that online, like Sasuke just wrecking all these Zetsus. Well, actually, Sasuke was wrecking all the, the um, samurai. Who was fighting the Zetsus? I forgot. But this is going into the war, so... It's really cool to see a lot of different stuff within this game that they're trying. Uh, of course, the snake costume Kabuto or Orochi Kabuto or whatever you like to call him. He's in this game again. He was in Generations, I believe. So I believe his moveset is going to be the same. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to is playing as Darui as a new character because I really like this character in the series. He's going to be an awesome playable character. I saw some of his combos and his Black um, Panther technique or whatever. That looked pretty awesome. But Mufune, his moveset probably looked the best out of the new characters coming in this game. His moveset really looks awesome, especially the special. Like, the way they animated the like the black and white type of tone. It's really spectacular and awesome. So, yeah, if you guys seen the new trailer for the Storm 3, it's not really new anymore. It came out, like, a couple of days ago. But it's really cool to see... Uh, that they're trying a little bit harder than uh, Generations. In my opinion, Generations really... I haven't even freaking played it, and I know it's just not that special, but... Storm 3, they're trying a little bit. I mean, they're talking about Jutsu Clashes for the upcoming game. What? I don't know what that means. Multiple Awakenings and all this other special stuff that they're trying their best, so... Yeah, they know that the fans got pissed off with Generations, and they want to try better. Also, of course, you guys probably know this, but the Seven Swordsmen will be in the hack and slash gameplay uh, era of the game, which is really cool to see the Seven Swordsmen actually in the game. In the new trailer, we did get to see a lot of cool stuff like Guard talking to the Alliance, um, so of course it's going into the war. We saw Kakashi versus Zabuza again in the war. That's it's going to be a fun fight. I hope hopefully that's a boss battle. If it's not, that'll be kind of disappointing. I want more boss battles because we already know that the main boss battle will be. Um, the third Hokage versus the QB, Minato versus Tobi, um, Naruto versus Sasuke at the, what's it called, uh, the, Raik the Hokage Summit thing, uh, they're actually getting a real one-on-one -on -one fight, the animation for the fight looked really awesome, but I'm kind of getting tired of seeing their same old Rasengan Shidori clash, it's been played to death, like, in, how many video games have you seen th that clash, like, almost every Naruto game they have that. But it's cool that, you know, they're having new Naruto unique costumes and a cool new Goku downloadable character costume. Something different. Um, so yeah, there there's a lot of scans that came out this month about all the hack and slash swordsman moves. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know how far they're going to go into the war. Obviously, they're not going to go too far. But seeing from the new trailer and the cutscenes and stuff, I think they're only going to go up to uh, right, right after... Uh, 
Kashi versus the Seven Swordsman. They're not going any farther. Of course, of course, we're having Naruto in this QB mode and everything, but we're not going any further into the series. But yeah, the biggest, the most recent news is the March 2013 release date, which is kind of obvious because every spring they release a Generations game. Well, that's what they did for the last two games. So yeah, that's not really too big of news. But Goku costume downloadable character, uh, downloadable um. Costume, not character. Costume confirmed. So that's the cool news. I just wanted to update people because I haven't talked about Storm Generation or Storm Three actually on this channel in a while. But yeah, guys, check out our other videos on this channel. I forgot what our most recent one was, but check it out if you're a fan. Um, and yeah, I'll try to keep you guys posted with this uh, news about uh, Storm Three. Even though I'm pretty sure you guys know more stuff about it online and forums and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just looking forward for the costume downloadable character for Goku. Um, yeah, we got the release date in March, of course. I want to play as Donzo and, and Darui so bad because their moveset look pretty awesome. Uh, but other than that, it looks like uh, CyberConnect 2 are trying a little bit harder than usual um, to make a more solid game. I mean, the first trailer we saw was really awesome with uh, the Ninetales versus the Third and all that. And this trailer was really nice just to see that they're trying a little bit harder. But what's your guys' thoughts in the comment section below? Do you think that this is going to be better than Generations? I hope it's better than Generations in Storm 2. What are your guys' thoughts? If it's not, then it's probably going to be another fail. And I heard this is the last one that they're going to make of Storm Generations. After this, I think they're going to just try to make a new type of, not franchise, but like a totally new type of game system or whatever. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's successful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment sections below. And, of course, if you like what you've seen and you guys want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the Green Clan, my anime manga collaboration channel. So that's all I got for you guys today. I am Anime Green, leader of this awesome collab channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.